Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be reviews of three different kinds of planners, notebooks, and memory keeping. This is a digital teacher planner and I will be doing a review and process on that, explain why I have one, and then I'll do the other planners. Thank you for watching and remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. Take care. This is a digital teacher planner and this is from Plain Air Paper Company and it was only $4.50. I looked at it and I said this is perfect for me. It's simple, it's what I need and what I can use and it was well worth it for me. I'm using this planner more than and better than that I was using other homeschool teacher planners than I did before because I just don't have the time to sit down and fill out papers and stickers and things like that but this I can do on the go in the bed plan out my time and my day concerning homeschool and get it done I like this section here which is a yearly overview kind of a year at a glance August and September I didn't do anything but I did put some little stickers there just to make it look cute and I'm keeping track of my son's online classes that he's taking. He's a junior and for the next two years there's some things that I just want him to be privy to so that when he goes to college he will feel comfortable in class with other students and know how to uh, be a student to another academic teacher outside of myself and this is just a great way for me to keep track of everything that he's doing for the next two years. So we looked at the year overview. This is the monthly overview for November. I love it because it looks very teachery. I know that's not a word, <laughs> but I just have my icons there and just his different classes that he's taking. Like I'm teaching homeschool on these days, his online classes, plus any fitness and things that he has to do. As a homeschool teacher and mom, it is my responsibility to make sure that he socialized and make sure that he has exercise so he does have like gym. He's not in karate right now. Um, hopefully he'll go back in March if we feel that it's safe for him. But until then we have basically a home gym where he's working out and sticking with his karate practicing at home. Here we have the weekly overview, which is not something that I would probably use all of the time. Now he has some appointments that are coming up, so I do need to fill this week in, but normally my weeks are pretty much the same, so I would only use this if I need to, but other homeschool teachers uh, or a teacher may have more use of this uh, each week, but I do plan to use it and like I said, this week he has some appointments, so I have to shift around homeschool and I have to just be mindful of some different things that needs to be done this week. On the 17th of November, he will be attending a online course, 12 week course on American literature and social studies and how they both work hand in hand. Anyway, they're reading this book called The Great Gatsby. We know that's one of the American great literatures. So I decided that I've never read it. I'm going to read ahead and along with him to help him understand as he goes through this particular course with his teacher. If I wasn't a homeschool teacher, I would still do this because I feel it's important that as our children matriculate through elementary school and even high school, it's important for me to be a part of everything that he's learning. He has to do it on his own and be independent, but also I like to be a guide. So if it's something that I've never read or done before, I'm going to read it to assist him in his process of studying and learning. Learning. And the final tab above is for daily. So it kind of breaks down from yearly to daily. If you do more homeschooling than I do as far as having more children or more students, you may need to break down your day a little bit more. But like I said, my days are pretty standard, so I don't need this daily. And I would use it for things such as important appointments. And if I have a specific schedule to keep that day, then I would use this. Now we're going to go down to the side student information. That's for someone who has more than one student. When I open up my uh, tutoring services once again, then I will keep a list of all of my students in this right here. But right now, it's not necessary for me to use it. The next portion here is the class schedule. And this is just an overview from Monday through Friday of all the classes and the lessons that um, 
my son is taking it on the specific days. So that's good for me to monitor throughout the throughout the year and it would change over time. And then you have the weekly lesson plans. I just wrote down the subjects and what days that I do my specific lesson plans. On Mondays, it's Bible study, grammar, and math. And then on Fridays, etymology, writing, driver's ed, and critical race theory. Those are what I'll be researching on Friday to prepare my lesson plans. And that's just a time that I block out and I may spend two hours, may spend three, may spend one hour, depending on what I'm doing. And that's basically it. So, and I just decorate it with some few at Art Digital stickers. This communication log, uh, I'm not quite sure what it's for, but I think I will use that more or less for teacher information. If I have to communicate with them or speak to them, I'll just put their information there. And then finally, we have notes. And this is just really, I'm using it more for brain dump, things that I need to do, I want to keep track of, and, and then check off and make sure I include it in the other parts of the planner. So this is a really nice planner. I think she did a great job with it. She has other planners, very affordable. And I will put her link in the description box below. I'm sorry, the bottom there's also transportation, and it's just a transportation law to keep track of these students and how they get to and from. Here we are in Faith Notes. This is from Create Hard Work and this is a hyperlinked notebook for the Bible. It's not a Bible but it's a notebook sectioned off for each book of the Bible which is really cool. It's really simple. Key, oh, key takeaways from the Bible. So let's say you're studying a particular book, the book of Exodus you would jot down your key verses and your notes from it and keep it all in this place and i think it's really cool it's really simple i only paid ten dollars for it but in her etsy shop it's not there anymore i don't know if she took it out but it's no longer there but she does have other like notebooks like this i really like it that's the cover of it and i've been using it for scripture writing for Ladies Loving God, and I'll show you a picture of that. It has a sermon note section. And in the section, as you can see here, you have the date, the preacher, the topic, notes, key points, and Bible verses. And you can always duplicate the pages. So it's a notebook that has everything you need for your faith notes. The next section it has is called the prayer journal. And in the prayer journal, you use it for simply that things and people you want to pray for and it just has the date and you can write out the prayer or you can keep a list of people you want to pray for and what you want to pray about concerning them and then you have your own note section here it's just blank section that you can put something in there let's say Sunday school lessons or Sunday school notes you can put it in this section right here and then right next to it is another tab that you can label it let's say it may be Bible study so you have uh, sections for Bible books that you want to study, sermon notes, prayer journal, and your own type of faith notes that you want to keep for yourself. Again, I think that's pretty cool. And I only paid $10 for it. I don't know why she doesn't have it in her shop anymore, but I think she has other things in there comparable to that. Some things are more expensive. Some things are around this uh, price range but it is affordable and I'm so glad I snagged it because if I would have waited I would not have been able to get it here we have the extra pages and and the extra pages has different types of notes Ugh, graph paper I love it you can do that just for illustrative uh, journaling and it has regular lined paper it has dot grid paper for those people who like to bullet journal it has blank pages I believe it has blank pages but it's just a really cool faith notebook I hope you like it I'll leave everything in the description box below and since I'm doing scripture writing and I'm also taking notes on the scripture writing that we're doing, I have it right here. And this is what it looks like illustrated with different kits, digital kits that I have. And I am enjoying it. Someone asked me to do a video concerning my time management, how am I able to do my different Bible studies and journaling and things like that. I'll be doing a video on that really soon. The cool thing about all of this, it's on my iPad in GoodNotes and I have access to all of them. This is a memories photo 
journal. This is by Travel by Dai, and I came across her YouTube channel and I really liked this photo memory album. It was only $4.50. It's simple, the date, and it has these little faux kind of Polaroid pictures. You just put a couple of pictures there and you journal on the other side. That's all you do. And I think it's a quick way to do memories if you go to the movies. Like my son and I have date mother and son date and we'll like go to the movies or something like that we always take a picture of the movie that he's going to see and I can put it right in here and journal that day and it's such a great memory and I can always print it out later it's just a few sheets of the papers and you can always duplicate them I like the combination or the marriage of scrapbooking and journaling all in one and it's also you know me it's very convenient because I came from that scrapbooking world which I still love to do but since Bible journaling I have not scrapbooked and this is a great way for me to still document those memories that I want to keep and this has really helped me I just purchased this so I'm looking forward to adding to it I'm going to show you guys a quick process of how I did uh, two pages one we went to see vintage venom carnage something like that some kind of crazy but it was cool and also he's a big 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 a Beatles fan and it was John Lennon's birthday and we took him to New York we felt that it was safe enough to take him we took him to Central Park and he had a ball and I wanted to capture some of those memories from that day as well couldn't fit everything in there I can duplicate the pages but I just wanted to just do one page of that day to put it in memory and if I decide to do a scrapbook then I can do it later on but I always have the memory right here on my iPad and this is really great especially during this pandemic when we can't do much but we're venturing out to do a lot of different things and I want to capture those moments so that when he looks back he can see what he was doing during a pandemic and I'll leave a link to her Etsy shop in the description box below as well. I hope you guys were inspired by this. Those of you who are getting into digital journaling or just those of you who do Bible journaling but you still like to see some of my digital um, endeavors, I hope you were inspired by this as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave any comments or questions in the description box below. Take care. And thank you for sticking with me for another long video. I think I did okay doing three reviews in one video and still keeping it under 14 minutes. Can't wait for next week to start going back into my Bible journaling entries. It's been a busy week so it was hard for me to get everything done and then when it's the beginning of the month you know Bible journalers and planners we start doing our monthly and weekly setups so it took a lot of my time as well as being busy with life. To the beautiful women who created the digital teacher planner, the faith notes, as well as the memory photo keeper digital notebook, you guys did a great job and I'm so glad I came across your Etsy shops and guys you know me when it's something that I like I will share it with you guys. Hopefully it will inspire you to do it in the future or in the present and all of their links to their description box are in I mean, all of their links to their Etsy shops are in the description box below. Take care, guys, and thank you for your patience. Bye.